Hi everyone. In today's lesson, we'll be taking a look at how to determine the rule of a cosine function. So in your notebook, please put down today's subtitle, Find the Rule of Cosine Functions. Determining the rule of a cosine function is extremely simple and involves mostly your powers of observation. Determining a rule involves several significant steps. The first of these steps is to determine where you would like to start your cycle. If you choose the start of a cycle which results in your cycle taking the shape of a valley, then your start point will be located at h and k plus the amplitude. However, if you pick the start of a cycle which will result in your cycle having the shape of a mountain, then your start coordinate will be located at h and k subtract the amplitude. Keep in mind that you will not be finding the k directly. Next step, I highly recommend that you draw a box that encloses your chosen cycle. For the next step, you'll want to determine the amplitude. The box can help you with that. The amplitude, which is equal to the absolute value of a, corresponds to half the height of the box or to the calculation maximum minus minimum divided by 2. In our next step, now that you finally know the amplitude and the start of your cycle, you can finally determine the value of k. If you started your cycle with a maximum value, then you'll be using the calculation k plus the amplitude. Or, if you started your cycle with the minimum value, then you will be using the calculation k subtract the amplitude. In our next step, we can finally use the length of the box, which represents the period, to help us determine the absolute value of b. And finally, depending on where you chose to start your cycle, that will help you determine the sign of the variable a. The sign of the variable b can actually be anything. In order to illustrate this procedure, I would like you to pause the video and prepare the following example. Go ahead, copy the example down carefully. With the example ready to go, let's take a look at each step in the procedure. First step is to pick where you want to start your cycle. Do you want to start it at a maximum point, which will create a cycle which will look like a valley? Or do you want to start at a minimum point? which will create a cycle which will look like a mountain. In our example, if you chose to start here, this is a high point and it will create a valley. If, however, you chose to start at a minimum point, let's say right here, then that will create a cycle that will look like a mountain. If you don't mind, I'm going to start at my maximum point. And that coordinate in this example corresponds to the coordinate pi over 2 and 3. And because I'm starting at a maximum point, that will actually correspond to h and k plus the amplitude. In the second step of our procedure, we'd like to draw a box that surrounds that cycle. In the next step, we'd like to calculate the amplitude, which will help us determine the absolute value of a. The amplitude can be calculated by either taking half the height of the box that you drew or simply by doing the maximum value minus the minimum value divided by 2. In either case, in this example, we have an amplitude of 2. Now that we have the amplitude, we can actually finally determine the value of k. Keep in mind that based on where we started our cycle, in this case, we started at a maximum point. That means that our start point corresponds to h and k plus the amplitude. And in our example, k plus the amplitude equals to 3, which means that k plus our amplitude of 2 equals the y value of our chosen start point, which is 3. And therefore, k is equal to 1. One very important observation that we can make is that the value of k also corresponds to the y-coordinate of the horizontal axis of symmetry 
of our wave. In the next step, we can finally determine the value of b through the period. The period corresponds to the formula 2 pi divided by the absolute value of b. And if you count up the length of your box very carefully, you'll find that in this example, our period is equal to pi radians long. That leads to an absolute value of b equal to 2. Finally, again, based on where we chose to start our cycle, the sine of a can be determined. In our example, I chose to start with a point that causes the cycle to be in the shape of a valley. So that means that a is positive. Since in a cosine function, the sine of b can be ignored, it can cause two possibilities for our final answer. Our final answer, if b was positive, would be y equals 2 cosine of 2 times x subtract pi over 2 plus 1. Or if we chose to set b to be negative, then our rule could be 2 cosine of negative 2 times x subtract pi over 2 plus 1. And that's all there is, ladies and gentlemen, to determining the rule of a cosine function.